So there has been a lot of people complaining about getting spam in their Elementor forms. And one thing I recently implemented is reCAPTCHA 3 into these forms, and that seemed to cut it out for the time being. Uh, it's not too long into my experiment, but so far things have been pretty good. It's really easy to do, but instead of explaining it 500 times, I figured I would just record this quick video and show you exactly how to do it. So I got a couple things open here. One is the uh, Google's reCAPTCHA page, which I'll drop a link to. Uh, I do have this page open in Elementor ready to go. Uh, I need to add something here into the Elementor integrations. And then I'm also going to be adding something into the additional CSS here. So those are the, the tabs I'll need open. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and grab this domain name and copy it. And I'm going to click the plus button to create a new site. I'm going to paste in the domain for the label, select reCAPTCHA3, and paste the name in, the URL in for the domain. I'll accept the terms and submit this. It's going to give me a site key and a secret key. I'm going to go ahead and copy this site key. And we're going to go to the back end of this website and go to Elementor Settings. And then under the Integrations tab, under reCAPTCHA 3, make sure you skip reCAPTCHA. reCAPTCHA 3, I'm going to put that site key, paste it in there, go back and grab the secret key, and paste it in there, and... Hit Save Changes. So that should be updated now. Now what we'll do is here in Elementor, I might need to refresh this since I had it open before I put those keys in there. All right, so I'm going to go into this Elementor form and edit it. I'm going to add a new item, reCAPTCHA 3. You can label it if you want. You don't have to. Uh, at the bottom right. So now you'll see this little badge it automatically pops up. So we know that that is working. Uh, I'm also though going to add another field which is just going to be HTML and I'm going to pop this disclaimer in there. So just like that this links out to Google's privacy policy in terms of service. From what I read, you can actually hide this badge, which I just don't really like hanging out on my site. You can hide that badge as long as you're linking to the privacy policy and terms of service for Google's reCAPTCHA. So I'm going to go ahead and update that. And the last thing we'll do here is jump into the customizer. Uh, we'll refresh this so we can see how it goes away. I have just a tiny little bit of code here to hide the reCAPTCHA, which I will also link to in this video. We'll go to additional CSS, and I'm going to pop this little bit of CSS in there. Uh, actually, before I do, you can see the reCAPTCHA is showing there. Once you pop this in there, it's just going to hide that little uh, reCAPTCHA button. So we'll publish that, and we are good to go now. So on the front end of the site, we'll give it a refresh. And I do have those reCAPTCHA terms of service and privacy policy in there and this form should be nice and protected now it's not going to stop people from manually spamming your form but it should slow down the bots so i hope this is helpful